Hello there guys, uh, Oscar here again. Yeah, I'm starting to dismantle the the module to get the cells out. And as I said on the previous videos, I want to preserve this little fuses, you know, uh, but if they don't come out the way I want, it doesn't matter. You can just get rid of them and put my new, you know, around 5M, 6M fuses. I just solder them together so uh, it, it wouldn't be a very big issue if they don't come out the way I want good throw them away get new ones okay so I'm going to start I'll use this this is my wife's knife it can do a good job I'm just going to you know go in here and then just sort of peel them off like you know yes sort of like okay i will do it uh, because i cannot be holding the phone and filming at the same time it's not going to work so yeah uh, you just bear with me uh, and i'll show you how they go like uh, as i take them out okay right as you can see here uh, when you as you can see here once you move it remove it from here okay it becomes weak here where it connects with the with the cell here so you know i, I wasn't expecting that when you once you remove you pull it from here it becomes weak here so it breaks easily this is why these these other one have you know have broken out so i have no choice but just to ignore them i'm gonna just you know just cut them off and I will put my own new fuses. Look, you know, they are not they are not that hard. So I will put mine. You know, save save the time. As you can see, they are very very delicate, so they break easily. You know, so I don't want to have. You know, to remove them here, and then I have a weak point at the bottom here you know then it's not going to work i'll just put my own fuses but this as i said last time this is a very good nice high quality setup so i'm going to carry one okay looks like i'm going to be chiseling a lot here there is this kind of glue or plastic that has been put on this man they it's stuck it's it's a i don't know how how they did this but man it's really hard to come out so it looks like i'm going to be chiseling the stuff out but in the meantime it's a it's a bit weird i wasn't expecting it to be this hard you know i wasn't expecting it to be this hard. Oh, my goodness bloody hell you know, as you can see, it looks like I'm going to be chiseling. This is the BMS cable that connects this. I don't need all this stuff. Uh, gonna have to put this here. Right. <sighs> yeah. Looks like I'm gonna have a very big job in removing this. But I will keep filming to show you yeah how how it's how it's going okay right i've removed the terminal from here this is the negative terminal and i'm gonna put it here mr musk uh, the owner of tesla will forgive me that i'm dismantling this i love the cells i want his cells okay so uh, i've removed the bolt there this one that was here so i'll just put that yeah, this looks like aluminium or something uh, or nickel i don't know what kind of material is this but i don't need it i'm going to use just copper okay right i'm going to carry on removing all the stuff and then remove the bms right right i removed all the bus bars on the top and then the bms cables are here so i'm gonna remove the bms but not now i'm gonna flip it and start removing the bus bars on the other side these are called the bus bars okay so 
one other thing that i would like to say is i'm at work i'm still at work so if i don't finish this video it's because i've been called to go to pick someone okay so sorry for that that means i'll carry on on the next video okay yeah i don't want to make so many many videos i wish i could just make one video but you know sometimes time and other responsibilities don't allow okay so i'm gonna flip it as i said to the other side remove the buzz bar right here we are as you can see they're still intact i'm going to start peeling them off and then remove the bms uh, there is something a bit strange here as you can see there are some fuses here and here these cells don't have fuses and it doesn't look like they they ever had fuses so I, I just don't get it how is it that some of the cells don't have fuses on this side of the you see here as well no fuses what is this what is this about here as well no fuses why not here no fuses so that means these cells are not connected for some reason yeah. they don't look like there was ever fuses in them so i don't know if anybody knows about this pack you see here they never had fuses here as well here 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 they're not fused, but why? Why are they not fused? Because that means they're not connected to the bus bar. So what are they just sitting there for? I just don't get it. So if somebody has had this module before and dismantled, please tell us what why we don't have fuses on these. All right? Right, bus bars are out. Now BMS, these brackets needs to come out. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna really struggle with this plastic. I'm starting to have a very big a, a worry about this hard plastic, but we'll see how it goes. Right here is the BMS. Okay, came out still nice, still in good condition, but I don't need it. I'm going to start first with no BMS. No, I'm insulting so many guys by saying this, but. Uh, I don't need BMS at the moment when I, you know, at the start, I'll see how things go like, and then I'll introduce the BMS later on. So if somebody wants Tesla a module BMS, you know, talk to me. Uh, if you are a nice person, well, this is yours, okay? I'm not greedy, okay? I'll just give you this. Or if you are... Uh, you have a setup, 24 volt setup, a battery, and you need a BMS. This is a top quality BMS. It is not junk, you know. This is, uh, you can see Mr. Musk's name is written all over it. He doesn't put junk in his car. So, so there it is, folks, okay? I will just carry on dismantling this uh, module. Wow, I underestimated this. Man, this thing is built to stay forever. My goodness. There is uh, these cells. They're held by two plastic brackets or whatever housing. This side and this side connected with this aluminium. Boy, this plastic is so hard. It is very, very hard that, you know, I underestimated this. This is absolutely indestructible. I don't, it's going to take me a long time chiseling and my goodness. Uh, what the hell is this? Yeah, man, this, this you, see, you see this part here and this, they are holding the cells together. It is really really hard i'm gonna need a chisel and a hammer but i don't want to damage this these cells and it's glued together you know it's absolutely glued together i will see what i can do but it's, it's a bigger job than i than i thought oh right do you remember when i said some of the cells were not connected they are not actually cells 
if as you can see in here they're just hollow it's empty in here on the other side when you're looking it looks like a cell it looks like that but it's just hollow there's nothing inside like so so uh, a bit strange here as well as you can see on the other when you're looking in here it's like all these are cells when actually no it's just a hole it's empty uh, it goes all the way to the other side oh no as you can see here these they look like cells they're not cells because that when you look from the side it is just hollow it's not a cell so i don't know why they did it but it doesn't matter guys this thing is very very hard to dismantle my goodness i underestimated it i'm gonna have to stop here and i'm going to work when i come back at night i'll carry on it's not easy to dismantle it i, I really really underestimated it as good i thought it's gonna be done in just two minutes or something no is built like a tank indestructible really really hard so guys uh, i will film this again later on when i come back my fingers look i split my nail here i'm doing this i split my nail right here because it's a uh, <laughs> very very hard okay guys bye bye thank you very much for watching